Hello, and welcome to Sean's Test Bench. Today we're back working on the, the Red Crossfire PC. And one of the modifications I do is I make my own fan grills. And uh, as you see in the previous video, I cut out the fan uh, spots in the bottom of the case here. So I want to go ahead and make fan filters and get them painted and get the fans. Now i got to get them ordered, but once I get them, I'm going to be painting them also to match the theme. But I, I'd like to have all everything I can have done done before I'm just I, I just have to wait on stuff coming in the mail so let me move the camera in a little closer get a tight frame on this bench here and I'm gonna go over and show you how I make my fan filters it might not be the right way the best way but it's the way I do it so let's do that now okay I set up the Canon Elf and I set it in macro settings I'm gonna try to get you some nice detailed uh, pictures up close here too so I start with a piece of aluminum screening. This is a used piece of screen I got from somewhere. I just cut it out of the frame. And, but you can get brand new aluminum screen at Lowe's or Home Depot for around $7 a roll and you get quite a, uh, quite a lot of it. So I'm gonna be starting with a small piece here that I have. A 90, 92 or a 90 millimeter fan, I'm not sure which one it is, but I need to make two of these for this build for the bottom fans. There'd be intake fans. So I just set my fan on here and do this so you just only use enough that you need to. I line it up with the lines that are in the metal of the fan or the, the, the screen. So line it up with one of them grid lines that are in the screening. I make a mark with a Sharpie marker all the way around it and then I just take a pair of you know good shears kitchen shears or whatever you want to call them and I cut it out now I want it right down the middle I want it right on the edge of that line because I don't want it sticking out past the fan but you can do this right here I'm just following the lines in the screen so that I'm not crossing over and making a, uh, a frayed end. And I'll just line it up like that and I'll just see which which grid I'm in. But I want it to be out to the edge of this fan, not sticking out, but I don't want it in either. So it appears to be that one right there. So I'll have to hold this up to the light to do what I'm doing here. And I'll we'll just take it and cut right up that grid. And that did that one. And then one last cut here. Let's mark which one I want it out of. Hold it up to the light. And trim it off. Just stay right in that grid and you won't have no frayed ends or anything. Now, now it fits the fan. It doesn't hang over and it doesn't set inside of it. But we're not done yet. I've been in the past and when I tried to run screws through the fan, it would, it would just mess it up. So I cut it back. Let me show you in this camera here. I cut it back just so it uh, is just inside the screws at an angle. Not only that, but it holds it there. When you set, when you go to install this fan, you get two or three of the screws in. You can slide this filter in behind it, set that four screw in, and that filter that filter's locked in. So I take it and I just cut that corner at a 45 degree angle, and I just eyeball it, and just like that. See, so I want it to where the fan screw could just come through. And what that do will hold this in on all sides. I'll just take each corner and cut that 45. Just like that. And then it fits in here. And then you have a filter. And these do a very good job of filtering, believe it or not. It catches a lot of dust. Uh, I'm not going to say it's the best filter, but you know what are you going to do? Uh, I think it's just as good as the ones you purchase 
that most of them are plastic and they come from China. They're a couple dollars a piece, sometimes up to five dollars a piece, and they're just crap. This is at least a metal aluminum fan. I will paint this, I will spray paint this matte black when I spray paint. When I, when I do the painting the case, I'll go ahead and paint these too. They will look so nice, they will. And um, they're rigid. They, they got some strength to them more than them flimsy plastic ones do. So uh, that's it for uh, making a fan filter for a fan. Uh, anytime you're making them, I think when you, if you get up into the, something bigger than a 140 millimeter, this might not be the best bet because it, it wouldn't have the rigid, you know, it wouldn't be as rigid. I haven't tried it. I've, I've made these out of the 120s and they work fine. But I think when you get up to 140 or maybe even bigger than that, and maybe uh, this is not heavy enough material. Maybe you need to, to go with a fan grill. Uh, you can get all kind of designer grills now, so. Uh, but this this works for me. This is these are easy to make. They're practically free because I just picked up a, a, a used screen, uh, and you don't have to wait. You don't have to buy them. You don't have to wait for shipping, and just they're done. So I'm gonna make one more of these real quick. Like I said, I want to keep. I want to eyeball that and get that right along. One of the screen grids, that's what I call it, and I'm not sure what to call it, but it's the screen, it's the grid and the screen, the way they're manufactured, and uh, that's it. So let's cut this one out. Like, I like to hold it up to the light, it makes it a lot easier to see that you're in staying in that grid, or staying on that line. And to be honest with you, the scissors want to walk that line too. It did. to cross over that line. You'll feel it in the scissors. You'll you'll know you uh you crossed the line. Okay, that's still needs trimmed up a little better. I got a nice straight edge on this one, so let's uh, cut out of this one here. Cut that one off. Set it on the fan and I just line it up and mark where I got to cut it. Just like that. And then one last one on this side. done. Let me uh, mark off some holes here. Just gives me an idea to just cut past them and uh, make sure I get it get enough out and I don't want to take too much out. So just putting a little dot on there kind of marks where it's got to be and it doesn't have to be totally perfect. All this is going to be sandwiched between this fan and there you go. There's uh, two fan filters for the Red Crossfire. Didn't cost a dime.